Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Equal Opportunity Offender Podcast. I am your Uncle E, the charming and delightful host for the fun-filled frivolity that you are about to enjoy. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a good time, and if you need to, get out the Preparation H. It might be a scorcher. So what do we have for you today? Well, I have a beer in my hand, uh, some thoughts in my head, and I figured I'd share them. So let's get to it, shall we? First things first. We all work. We all have bills to pay. We all have to have roof over our head, phone in our hand, internet, yada 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 we have to do oftentimes some crappy jobs I really don't like in order to pay those bills it's truth we a lot of us do and it sucks you know thought I'd be a billionaire philanthropist everything would be awesome cool as shit whatever inventor whatever it didn't happen Okay, it didn't happen. I wish it had. I'm working on things, but the cash is not there. Fuck, you know. I, I've, and that subject came up today. Money, inflation, um, the fact that you know. 14, 15, you know, whatever bucks an hour that minimum wage is, wherever it may be, um, it's a large amount. It's a huge amount. I mean, when I first started working, it was 450 an hour. Yeah, 450 an hour. Okay, not a lot. <clears throat> and I remember looking for apartments and then being in the 550 to 600 dollar range when you think about it back then that's at least a paycheck and then some same as it is today uh, the food prices they're astronomically high now back when I was working fast food wasn't much of anything I mean, okay. When I worked at McDonald's in '99, they had the 20 cent, 29 cent hamburger and the 39 cent cheeseburger on Wednesdays and Sundays. And you could go in and grab 20. But if I remember correctly, normally they were like 69 cents. You know, uh, gas was a dollar a gallon. <laughs> A dollar a gallon okay um, the price of tools was lower and the quality was higher and the reason for that is simple you have three components of business <clears throat> you have your labor you have your operations and you have your supplies your labor is your managers your you know cooks you know your servers if you're in a restaurant you know if you've got industrial it's designers welders uh, managers again uh, operations what is operations well that's lights uh, roof property um, phones internet uh, whatever it takes to make the business run the actual business side of things and then you have the last one which is fuck I forgot <laughs> you had labor you had operations and you had something else whatever it was I can't remember supplies Thank you. Supplies. Brain fart for a second. But what are the supplies? Well, if you're in the restaurant industry, obviously it's your food. It's your material. You know, your um, 
the boxing, uh, silverware, knives, forks. Uh, if you're in industrial, it's the material that you're using to build whatever it is that you're building, plus the supplies necessary to build that as well. It is what it is. Every business has it, you know. I set up a phone answering service business. Well, I need internet. I need a phone. I need computer. I need communication with whomever and I need to be able to do all of this seamlessly so I have to have the right software so on and so forth my time is involved time of anybody else who's keeping track of me whether it be accountant business manager whatever they're all making a cut and <clears throat> you have those three components of the business when it comes together and boom you're you have to. so if you have found all if the supply of labor is overpriced you have to increase the pricing that you give to the customer because that's one third of your cost um, then it's the you know what are the other bills have they gone up to the operations bills how's the uh, property taxes uh, what are how about state and local and federal how's that working out for you um, then you've got your supplies well the cost of labor has gone up so the cost of supplies has gone up so therefore your prices have to go up as well and depending on those prices and depending on the amount of money people are actually making uh, those prices may cause your business to fail especially if things aren't working 100 percent perfectly and again when i was a kid teenager it was 450 an hour you can get a double stack from wendy's for 99 cents uh, that is a very specific memory. I love those burgers. It was great. Um, they were awesome. But we all work shitty jobs. We all have to pay bills. And when it comes right down to it, it tends to be a shit show. So I would say to all of you who are deep in the shit show, buck up use the skills and talents that you're developing in your job hopefully to make a better life for yourself and advance further than what you are doing now so that way you can actually make more money and supposedly be happier uh, does money make you happier I know <laughs> I know being broke ain't shit fucking sucks ass you know hey I want a nice car sorry can't have that don't make enough money hey I want to start a business can I get loans fuck no you don't have enough collateral you don't have enough saved up you're paying too much for everything on the side as it is fuck you you ain't getting shit from us uh, how about an investor sorry no, no can do you're too poor to know us rich people ain't that grand yeah money and I'm a capitalist go figure I'm a fucking capitalist I, I there is nothing I love more than spending lots of money on stupid shit that I don't really need to have you know when I've got the money I enjoy it you know, it's good to have. You can do nice things. You could have a good time. I mean, holy shit. You can take yourself out to one of the nicest restaurants you can find. One that actually is worth going to. You can have a magnificent, fantastic dinner. And when you've got the money to plunk down and go... <clears throat> you can do it without hesitation. And it makes you happy as fuck to do it. Because you're full as hell. You got some leftovers on the side. And you'll always be like, man, that was some good food. Oh, God. I hope I never forget that meal. And some of them, you never 
do. It's like, oh, you remember that one? That was really good. That was really great. Yeah, it, it, it's it, sometimes it's just like that. You know, you're going to have a good time with some of the things that you do. But when you've got the money and you've got more of it, do you have more problems? Fuck yes, you do. You know goddamn well. Number one, the people below you are going to hate you even more, and there's going to be a lot more of them. Uh, because you've got money. Uh, <laughs> and of course they're going to be like, hey man, loan me some. <laughs> it's like, hey dude, man, you remember me from high school? I was your best friend. Hey, is there any way I could get a little something, something from you? It's like, seriously? Seriously? <sighs> and, and, you know, but the people above you? <laughs> you know what? You want to know what an elitist is? an elitist, you know, not one of these people on TV that talks to you like you're a fucking moron and, you know, you're you're just the most malignant hunk of whale slime that there's ever walked the face of the planet, it, but, you know, they're talking to you nice and they're using colorful language, so everything is working well. No, I'm talking actual elitist, like someone who knows, okay, check this out, I go, I'm into politics, been into politics a long fucking time. And I have gone to events, I've gone to whatevers. And I went to a conference where my local uh, uh, congressman, U.S. rep, was coming through. It was a meth conference. I wanted to see how it goes, because I'd never been to one of these before. And so I go, and there's on the back table all the prepared remarks and all the things that are going to be said by the person standing or sitting at the desk, uh, on this big fucking table and that's what they're going to say that's what it's going to be and that's all it is and there might be some questions they usually say oh I don't know or don't have that information at this time blah 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 well I'm in the back of the room dressed in tie shirt you know looking somewhat decent not good I wish I had a suit but whatever and I'm talking to this guy uh, who worked at a crime lab. He was a director. He was a pretty decent level bureaucrat, you know, probably made six figures. And we're having a conversation about shit, the kinds of things that I know and I've seen around because, you know, life is what it is at a gas station. And talking about how cops, you know, just aren't there when you need them, blah, blah, blah. And 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 he looks at me and he's like, you know, you're really smart. You're really, you know, knowledgeable. Are you one of his aides or are you an intern? I mean, what do you do? And I looked at him and I said point blank, I'm an assistant manager at a gas station here in town. His nose must have set a land speed record. That thing went like that and he got up looked down at me, looked away, and then just walked off. That was it. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, wow. I just met my true, my first true elitist. Isn't that special? And when I think about these people, and I've met a number of them in various forms and functions, and circumstances it always strikes me as the disturbing little peon attitude that you'll get because and there's always going to be bigger fish in the pond so does money make you happy it can depending on how you use it Will it make you happy? No. It's not a guarantee. Is the money the root of all evil? Fuck no. Money is a tool to be used for good and evil. Hence why some people choose to believe of it as evil. Whereas there are a lot of people who use it for very good things. Please chew on that. I had a... Uh, meme typed out thing that basically said I wanted to get rich 
so I can help the world become a better place to live because I'm sick of the way we do things on this fucking planet and how stupid some of it is and just how ridiculous and how <sighs> over and over and over and over and over again it's fucking bullshit and I really hope that I've offended a few of you with this bit, this rant it's not really comedy right now because that was just right off the top obviously but I wanted to do something special <laughs> I wanted to do something special I'll do more pl I'll do more brilliantly planned and produced fucking bits I'll have little graphics right here that are just awesome and cool and you'll all be stunned at my magnificent ability to render poetic the words of the English language Until next time, have a good one.